Yul Brenner. How was he working with Yul Brenner? Oh, Brenner. Brenner was the king. I had a great time working with him. I never, never had the pleasure of knowing him or, or working with him, but I was a great fan, of course. Well, I don't, I don't know how much time we have, but I got a great story. Uh, well, uh, you know, the time is up to you, gentlemen. Well, um, it's the magnificent the return of the magnificent seven, uh -huh. and it's certainly no secret uh, to anybody that uh, Yule and uh, and McQueen did not get along uh, at all. Uh, now, that's not to say. Uh, first of all, Yule Brenner, they're both great actors. Yeah, they, they were. Uh, but they, they had different styles. Uh, McQueen is more of a method actor. Uh, Yule was a straightforward type actor. And, and it seemed like, uh, uh, like McQueen was always doing something that, that, that Brenner didn't like. And they did not get along. It was terrible on the set. So anyway, when the return of Seven came along, Yule did not want McQueen. And at that point, McQueen wouldn't have done it anyway. He was one of the biggest stars in Hollywood at that point. So anyway, I got lucky and I got the part, and the Mirrors people had cast me, and uh, uh, the problem with it was I had just finished another Western at Universal, and they were going to premiere it in Munich, Germany, and I had to go to the premiere, and that would have made me a week late on the set uh, for the Return of the Seven in Spain. We shot it in Alicante in Madrid, and uh, that's always tough, you know, to arrive on a set late. All the clicks have been made. Everybody's friendly and the thing like that. So, but anyway, they agreed that I could do that. And I was happy about it anyway because I had two buddies on the show, Warren Oates and Claude Akins, that uh, were buddies of mine and Jim's. We'd worked together for a long, long time. I thought, well, that's going to be a savior anyway. But I was so worried about, I hadn't met Brenner at all, and I thought, what's going to happen? I'm playing the part of Vin. The same part that McQueen played is Brenner. Because I've heard some stories about Brenner, that he could be a pretty tough guy. And I thought, is this going to carry over? Is he not going to like me because I'm playing a Steve McQueen part? Uh, you know, and it, it could happen. I don't know. You know. So anyway, I arrive, I arrive in Spain a week late. They bring me out on the set. I go into makeup, get my wardrobe on, the whole thing, the gun belt spurs, all my stuff. And the assistant director comes over and he says, have you met Mr. Brenner yet? And I said, no, I haven't. And he said, well, let's, let's go meet him. So, okay, let's go. So we get up and we start walking across this courtyard, long, long walk toward Yule's dressing room. And Yule is sitting in his trailer at his makeup table getting made up. And the makeup man's working on him. The mirror is here and he's looking in the mirror. And in the mirror, he can see the assistant director and I walking toward them in the background, this long, long walk up to the trailer. We get all the way up there. He hasn't turned around. He can, he's looking in my eyes right through the mirror. The assistant director knocks on the door and he says, Mr. Brenner, he said, this is Robert Fuller who's playing the part of Vin. And Yule does not turn around. He just pins me right through the mirror with his eyes like this and there's dead silence. And he just starts looking at me. About 30 seconds go by and my heart's just starting to beat. I'm going, oh man, am I in for it. <laughs> and Brenner says, do you drink? And I went, oh my God, do I drink? Don't I drink? Does he drink? Doesn't he drink? What do I, what do I say? You know, it's all going like this. And I thought, oh, the heck with it. Honesty is the best policy. And I said, mm -hmm. yeah, I drink. Dead silence again. This time a good 40 seconds. And I'm not kidding. <laughs> and now I'm, just, I'm starting to get a little nervous. And he's just looking at me through the mirror. And then he says, do you play poker? <laughs> and I cracked a smile and I said, yeah, I play poker. And he turns around and he grabs me. He says, come on in, Pally. And grabs me by the arm and drags me right on my back into the dressing room. 